Hey guys, it's Crystal. I am here to do a tag video for you today. I tried to film this tag about 30 minutes ago and then my iPod died and I lost it all and I was very, very upset. But now I promised you guys a video in the video that I posted before this one. So even though it deleted it and I'm really upset and I have to film this all over again, I'm doing it for you guys because I love you. So in honor of where I very first saw this tag, that is why I'm wearing this hat. The hat. Mm -hmm. Love this hat. It's got the cute little paws and things. Um, but anyways, I very first saw this tag on Beth June three two sevens channel. I will link her channel down below, and possibly her video. And the same thing goes for the original at Book Jazz. Um over on YouTube, which is the site you are on, and if you don't know that, well, I have some things to tell you. <laughs> um, anyways, so I, the original book tag was made, yeah, I can't see today. The original book tag was made over at Book Jazz, like I said, and it is filled with 12 wonderful questions and I'm going to do them here for you today. It is called Re the Reading Habits Tag. Haha. -ha. Um, the first question is, do you have certain places at home for reading? Yes, I do. I like to read in my bed. However, I'm not home a lot so I don't really read in my bed as much as I would like. I kind of just read on the bus and things when I am on my way home from school. Um, the second question is bookmark or random pieces of paper. I adore my bookmarks so much because they all have very, very special meaning to me. Um, besides the one I get like for free. But this one my mom got for free for me over the past couple of days and I love PETA and Josh Hutcherson. I think he is like seriously my top male celebrity crush is Josh Hutcherson. I am obsessed with him um so hence Peter Malark Hunger Games even though I did not like that book I love the movie and Josh Hutcherson sexy so plus there and then the other bookmark that I have is currently holding my spot for me in the fifth wave but I'm just gonna show show, show you that it's rainbow and I got it for a, from a support group for people in the Philippines because they make those bracelets and then they sell them in the Americas or wherever in the world they travel and they get money and then they bring them back and help support people and I thought it was really pretty and I bought one. So the third question is, can you just stop reading or do you have to wait to stop at a certain page or chapter or what? I am one of those people who has to stop at a pay a certain Usually it's an even page or a chapter because that is one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves for somebody just to stop, oh, be like, oh, I'm just going to stop reading this book and close it. I think partially this is because I like to kind of track my reading skills, so to speak, and see how many pages I have left on certain things. So it's easier to use subtraction with the final number of pages and the page that I am on now if it's an even number and yeah so that's the answer to that question um question number four do you eat or drink while reading not really if I'm hungry I eat if I'm thirsty I drink it just kind of happens if not then I don't I just sit there and I read a book um question number five Multitasking, listening to music or reading and watching TV at the same time. Which one is easier for you and why? That might have been a little bit of addition, but it's okay. Um, I much, much, much prefer listening to music. I cannot focus on the TV and on my book at the same time, so I don't really tend to do that as much. However, with music, I love listening to music with my books. I often very, very often make shuffles for the type of book that I'm reading when I'm reading a dystopian novel. My favorite song most recently has been Radioactive by Imagine Dragons because it's just like, ooh, this is a new beginning and oh, you overthrow and you gain power and exciting things. Um, but anyways, 
So, that's the main song that I listen to when I'm reading, like, dystopian or contemporary. Um, but when I'm reading, like, action books, like The Fallen, or, like, I'm just picking up what books are around me. Um, oh, I forgot to do this. Oh, <laughs> my very first video that I made, I was showing off, um, for question number two about the book or a random piece of paper. I also said that I keep random pieces of paper as seen here as bookmarkers for my favorite parts but um yeah so that's just kind of like an add-on to question two but where was I where was I where was I where was I okay so music so for books with action like Clockwork Princess or um The Fallen series by Thomas E. Sinatsky Sinowski something like that or any series that has a lot of action in it or um, suspense or anything like that. I listen to a lot of like metal and um, hard rock and classic rock and that kind of thing. Things that like really get me pumped for stuff like Skillet and Flyleaf and Thousand Foot Crutch. I also listen to Papa Roach a lot when I'm reading those kind of books. Um, what other bands? It kind of just depends on what part and for some books I actually have designated shuffles for that certain book. But most times it's just designated shuffles for the genre, like what um, what type of book I'm reading. The question number six, yeah, number six is one book at a time or several books at a time. I learned this when I was reading Chatter Me and book five of the Fallen series. I do not do good with several books at a time. I do good with just one because I like to immerse myself in that world and just kind of be there and hang out and things. Um, question number seven, read at home or read anywhere? I usually am not home, so I normally am reading anywhere. My favorite places to read recently have been on the bus, in the car with my mom, and at Starbucks, or at other coffee places, or at Books A Million. I go there to read sometimes too. But all those places, I just love reading because it's really quiet and I can just listen to my music and chill and read and it's just really fun. So, yeah, I like reading in other places rather than my own home. Uh, next question is question number eight. Yeah, eight. Do you read out loud? Do you read out loud or silently in your head? A lot of times I read silently in my head only because I can get through books faster that way. I find that I read about 100 pages an hour when I'm reading to myself and it's about half of that when I read out loud. So it's kind of easier for me to read to myself because then I can finish more books and feel more accomplished. And it's not like it's any difference of comprehension or anything because I comprehend both ways just fine. It's just I read more when I read to myself. Um, question number nine. Do you read ahead or even skip pages? I do not read ahead or skip pages. However, I am okay with spoilers. Just as long as they don't ruin, like, the whole series for me. So that's my opinion on that. Question number ten. Do you break the spines or like to keep them, like, new? I have this thing with my books. If I get a new book that I like to break my own spine. I don't have a problem with broken spines. I just like to be the one who does it. I don't like to get used books with broken spines and things like that just because I don't feel comfortable with comfortable with it because usually broken spines are books that you've really, really devoured and you've read multiple times and you just keep on opening them up. I find that's more common also with paperbacks. Um, so when I break my own spines, that's kind of like putting my mark on it that this is the part that I found important, or things like that. Um, I really, really enjoyed doing that with the Fifth Fallen book, because I pre-ordered that, and when I got it, it was all mine to ruin. Ru <laughs> what an insurance reference. I didn't even mean to do that. It was all mine to ruin, and it just makes me really happy because I get to do what I want with my books, rather than somebody else doing what they want to my books. And, but, ironically, if somebody else bends my book, I get really, really upset because if somebody's going to be bending my book, it's going to be me. So, personal preferences. Number 11 is, do you write in your books? I do not. I used to when I was younger because I thought it would be cool. Um, 
I actually started writing in my books when I was younger because I often saw my mom writing in her Bible a lot and I'm like, oh, I want to be just like my mom. So I wrote all up in my books and I highlighted things and stuff like that and I really, really wish I had. I really wish I wouldn't have because now I think that just kind of ruins the book and I don't like what it does to it. So now I don't highlight or write in them. I just... Now I'm a book tour, so I have all these videos talking about the books that I've read and commenting on what I've liked about them and what I didn't like about them and things like that. Um, and lastly, the 12th question, who do you tag? I'm going to tag three people on this. And I found out the one person that I was going to tag after I lost the video that I made. I asked her if she had done this tag and I'm pretty sure that she said no kind of did not understand from the text messages but I'm pretty sure so and then the second one is very very new to booktubing so I don't think she has done it yet and the third one isn't a booktuber at all but he said that I promised him that I would give him a little shout out in my video so this is me doing this the first person I'm going to tag is Amber over at Nerdy Book Lover I will link her channel I will link all the channels that I talked about today so Beth June 327, The Book Jazz, um, Nerdy Book Lover over with Amber, and Pick a Fun with Sophie, which is the second person I tag, and the third person that I tag is Joseph, or Pedro, over at Pedro Torres, and I think his name's changing soon, the name of his channel, but I will also put his link in the down bar, so you three should totally go and do this tag. And if you have any silly hats, I'm adding that to this tag. So, if you do this tag, wear a silly hat and make it awesome. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, videos are now Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So, I will see you guys on Thursday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye!